kids, this is Teacher Giselle, and welcome to English Form. Our topic for today is getting the meaning of words through word association or word analogy. Are you ready? What is your favorite holiday of the year? Let's recite the poem and enjoy the month of the year. Months of the year January marks the start of the year. New Year is greeted with blasting firecrackers. February is for St. Valentine. For friends and lovers, love so fine. March bring excitement of medals and honors for a well-deserved achievement in school. April summer is for fun and adventure. Vacation trips are bucket list favors. May for flowers that bloom all around, like beautiful ladies in Santa Cruz. June opens the door for school learners. School bags and uniforms are placed in order. July rain makes the grasses grow. Busy farmers start to sow. August storms and strong winds blow. Warning and signals flash on TV and radio. September greets with a holiday song. Of that wonderful music, we sing along. October comes with semestral break. Hurry up and pass all the school projects. November remembers our dearest loved ones. All Saints Day and Halloween with customs or none. December has the loudest cheer. Let's all be glad. Christmas is in the air. What is your favorite month of the year and why? What holiday is the most significant in your life? Why? Let us complete the phrase. January is to New Year as February is to blank. Your answer? All right! Valentine's Day. Graduation is to March as vacation trips is to... And your answer? Correct! April. Let us check the word in the box. The words are associated with Christmas, New Year, or Valentine's Day. Write the words under the proper holiday.
how are the words related to each other? Let's say, Christmas tree is to Christmas as a red rose is to Valentine's Day. Trumpet is to New Year's Day as Carol is to Christmas. The underlined words are associated to the word in which they are connected. They are used in comparing the words Christmas and Valentine's Day. Analogy is the comparison of two things that may have similar or opposite characteristics or features. We have common types of analogies. Synonyms Antonyms Cause and effect Purpose Characteristics Degree Whole and part Action and object Place and object Person and tool from the box. Write the word that completes each sentence. The words inside the box are Church, Santa Claus, New Year, Christmas, and Heart. Number one. A lantern is to Christmas as fireworks is to blank. The answer is New Year. Correct. Number two. A carabao is to a farmer as a reindeer is to Alright. Santa Claus. Number three. Christmas is to Santa Claus as Valentine's is to a. Yes, heart. Number four. Repentance is to Lenten season, as merrymaking is to Yes, Christmas. Number five. Muslims is to mosque, as Christians is to Blank. Okay. Church. Complete these analogies. Analyze the first part of the comparison. They could be the same or opposite.
Is today's lesson clear to you? Very good! Always remember that analogy is a comparison of two things that may have similar or opposite characteristics or features. That will be all for today, kids. See you again tomorrow. Bye!